Okay, so more questions have come in from all our excited students. This is the second part of the PSLE 2020 interesting questions. So disclaimer, if you're a parent or student viewing this before PSLE 2020 is over, if you feel that this viewing this video will affect your performance for the remaining papers, please switch off this video now. Okay, this is meant for eager parents and children who want to discuss the questions and are mature enough to handle its consequences. Okay, the questions here were from accounts from students. The exact phrasing of the questions and other aspects of it may not be identical to the exact exam questions. So let's start with this logical reasoning from paper one. So the table below shows the number of books read by students. 45 students read at least two books. So you can see that this table here, the number of books read 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the number of students that read these number of books are here. The number of students for 3 books read is blank and so is the number of books read for 4. The number of students here is blank as well. So each statement is either true, false or not possible to tell from the information given. For each statement, pick put a thing in the correct column. So the first statement says that 8 students did not read any books. So to verify if this is true, false or not possible to tell, we simply look at this. This one, we know that this is true. Okay. Now the second statement says that there are 80 students altogether. True, false or not possible to tell. So when you have logical reasoning problems like these, you have to read through the background information, context of the situation carefully first. They say here that 45 students read at least two books. So this means that there are 45 students who read two or more books. So in total, the three of these should add up to 45. Okay. So you will see that 8 plus 7 plus 45 would give you 60 at most. So there is no way that you would have 80 students all together. You are able to obtain a definite number here. You are able to say that this is categorically false. Okay, then the last one says that there is an equal number of students who read three books and four books. Okay, so to deal with this, right, you have to look at this situation carefully. This means that if we are to break it down further, the total number of students who read three books and four books would be 45 minus 20 to give you 25. So in order for you to have an equal number of students, you will see that when you try to divide this by 2, you would have 12 remainder 1. You are not able to divide it equally among these two groups over here. So we can say that this question here is categorically false. Okay, 